Hello mga hackdog. Another example for mass function. And this will be the last example for mass function. Show that f of x is a probability mass function. f of x equals 1 over 30 x squared. If x is in 1, 2, 3, and 4, that's the support. 0 otherwise. Okay. Now, again, to show, we need to use, we need to uh, show that the two conditions hold. Okay. That is the first condition. Again, the first condition is that the... Um, the individual probabilities should be uh, greater than greater than uh, or equal to zero and the second condition is that the sum of all probabilities should be equal to one okay so for the first condition we have okay, we just We'll just substitute uh, for every x okay so f of 1 is so we substitute that right here that's 1 over 30 times 1 squared is 1 over 30 f of 2 is 1 over 30 times 2 squared is 4 over 30 um, f of 3 equals 1 over 30 times 3 squared that is 9 over 30 then f of 4 equals 1 over 30 times 4 squared, that's 16 over 30. All of these are greater than 0. So, the first, um, the first condition holds. Now, what about the second condition? The second condition is that the probabilities, the sum of all probabilities should be equal to 1, okay, so the sum of f of x, x in the support, equals, what's our function, our function is, so that's the sum of 1 over 30, x squared, x equals 1 to 4, because our support runs from 1 to 4, okay, this is equal to, <clears throat> 1 over 30 times 1 squared, plus 1 over 30 times 2 squared plus 1 over 30 times 3 squared plus 1 over 30 times 4 squared this is 1 over 30 this is 4 over 30 this is 9 over 30 this is 16 over 30 now note some of these numbers can be simplified this can be simplified this can be simplified but we choose not to so that we can easily, we can just easily add all the fractions, okay? So our LCD is 30, 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16, and if we add all these numbers, we'll get 30 over 30 equals 1. The second condition holds, and so therefore, this is indeed, okay? We write our conclusion here. Therefore, it is indeed a probability mass function that's how we show okay i think that's enough for probability mass function the next video i will we are going to solve for the expected value of a random variable see you there